Brothers and sisters, we are always courageous, although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Christopher Duffley was born in May of 2001. He's actually the son of my youngest brother and his girlfriend. And when I received the phone call from my brother, I found out that he was born at only 26 weeks, one pound, 12 ounces. So he's very premature and he was in critical condition. And there were several nights that we were told that Christopher wouldn't make it through the night. And at that point, I prayed for Christopher. And I just asked God to be with my brother and to do what his will would be. And for a long time, I had no contact with my brother, really didn't know what happened to Christopher. And all of a sudden, my heart was moved. Where was my nephew? What happened to him? And on my first phone call to social services, the gentleman knew about Christopher, and he indeed was in foster care. He was totally blind. He had been born with cocaine in his system, and he had a host of other medical issues. My first response to that, or my first feeling to that, was fear. I prayed very intently, and I really, I begged the Lord, I said, could you just show me, show me what you would want? And he did, he answered in my heart. He told me, do not be afraid, that I will take care of everything. We've had challenges and we've had joys. And one of the greatest joys was to hear Christopher make noise, sing, and keep beat. He really didn't talk till about first grade. So when he sang, it was really neat. And it wasn't shortly around that time that we found out that Christopher had perfect pitch. And he started to do remarkable things. And what a joy and what a prophecy that God gave us that these tears would come and they come out of great joy. And when Christopher sings, open the eyes of my heart, he teaches us to not see everything with our eyes, but to see things the way God sees things through our heart. And indeed, I'm singing that today. Open the eyes. 